Hello, it is me, Amigo. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Backups are important. Shut the hell up. You're a backup. Wow, not even a, an SR. It shows zero viewers. Damn, I've fallen off. Is there a special event today? Nope. Let's see, what are the daily missions for today? Perform a ritual single synchro slash XYZ summon. Fusion slash pendulum slash link summon a monster. Duel in solo mode. Oh, I can get all those done with my dragon roller one. I'll do solo mode stuff when I'm practicing new decks, when I get bored of this deck. So this is my dragon ruler pile. It's a 60 card deck that only has mill and dragon rulers. Cluster scripts. Hello there, chat. How was your April Fools? Did you get fooled? <laughs> Holy shit, I opened grass. That's gonna be sweet. Hopefully they don't have Ash Blossom. Hee hee hee, here's my grass. I didn't even check to see if they had a 60 card deck or not. Let's see, I milled 20 cards and got two hits. That's fine. This deck is about materials in the graveyard, not getting hits. Let's see, what are my top three cards? Does it really matter? Suliak, because I'm about to search out something from my deck. Oh my god, I didn't hit a single tier. <laughs> now that I think about it. Drone Lockbird? That's fine. That just means I can't use any of the search effects of my dragon rulers. <clears throat> I can still do this. Send this one to the graveyard. Mill three more. Activate Rhino Heart. Special summon Rhino Heart. Why did they quit? You chained in the wrong order? Did I? Going first. <laughs> okay. This hand isn't the best, but it's fine. I can bring out Blaster from the deck, and then maybe bring out Redox with its special summon effect. And then get two level 7s on board. Which I can use to go into Galaxy Tomahawk, and then go for a bunch of Link plays. Assuming nothing gets interrupted. If anything gets interrupted, I'm ham-boned. Response. <gasps> no response! Okay, that means Blaster comes down, comes down. And then I can use Redox from the Grave in order to banish Blaster and Burner. So we get two level sevens on board. Response. Gold players, this is Platinum. We're too good to be gold players. Then Redox hits the board. We use Blaster to search out another baby ruler so that we can set up another one next turn. Man, I wish the dragon rulers didn't have hard once per turns and all their effects. That'd be so cool. 
They're already good without them, but with... I mean, with them. Without them, they'd be even better. Go rest your voice? No. Okay, then we add Burner. Now we have two level 7s on board. That's enough for a Galaxy Tomahawk. Note to self, do not put Galaxy Tomahawk into the extra monster zone. Galaxy Tomahawk. Wait, I mean, I could as long as I just get rid of it immediately. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a Royal Gal Galaxy Tomahawk. Detach two materials, but we'll summon five tokens. I quit. Easy win. Oh, I am in gold. Why am I in gold with this deck? I should be playing something funnier. Something that... Packet Link? Oh, Packet Link is pretty funny. Well, that's really bad, though. Don't Slip? Oh, yeah, the Don't Slip deck. <laughs> I need to do my dailies, though. The best stuck for my dailies is my Dragon Ruler deck, but they keep quitting before I can finish it. No one's gonna sit through Tomahawk Turbo. Well, it's not Tomahawk Turbo, though. I don't do the cool combos. I do the bad combos. So it's actually based and red-pilled. You're going first. Nice. <clears throat> okay, with this hand... Ooh, a danger. I think I might want to summon the, um... No, I can go for the danger. As long as Nessie doesn't hit lightning in my hand, we'll be fine. Fuck, it hit Nessie! Shit! Well, at least Nessie gets to search out another one, right? So I get Mothman. Okay, Mothman. Just don't hit Mothman or lightning. Are you fucking kidding me? It hit the danger both times? Holy shit! That is so unlucky, but I drew into Primeval Planet Pillarino, so that's pretty good. Damn, the chances of that happening both times with a five card hand is 20%. 20% twice. <laughs> that's. <laughs> it's a very low chance. Incredibly low. It's like rolling, I don't know, a one on Crazy Box a whole bunch of times in a row. No, wait, if we go into Rhino Heart, this actually gives us full combo. Because Rhino Heart can send um, Shiren to the grave, and then they can go into um, Kit Kalos in order to mill five. Kit Kalos. And Rhino Heart on board. Oh, I can use Nessie in the grave. Oh, hell yeah. I forgot Nessie's in Aqua. Okay, then we have Kit Kalos. Then, destroy card on the board. Now I'm good. Okay, and then we add. Holy crap, everybody just keeps leaving. What decks are they playing? A burn deck? Labyrinth? Why are they leaving? I'm not gonna get any of my dailies done if they keep leaving before I set up my board. You are going second. I wasn't even done yet. Why do bad things only ever happen to me? Yeah, why did the Labyrinth player quit? What are you, a dummy? What are you, an idiot? 
live twin is this live twin pure or live twin sprite or is it live twin unchained keys to kill in order to bring out Leela in order to go into their link too they also brought out frost to get a third material on board this is because they're trying to play around interruption however if I just banish a Leela from the grave then their whole board goes away good morning mr. logs if it was a good morning I'd be fishing Would you include live stream with Unchain? I don't know. Oh, it's a uh, Sprite Live Twin. That's an interesting choice. Do they usually go into Gigantic Sprite right off the bat? I feel like they don't. But maybe, I don't know. Do you actually like fishing? Would I say I like fishing if I didn't like fishing? The answer is yes, absolutely. <gasps> sprite blue? Are they going to search out Sprite jet? Oh, Sprite red. For the monster negate. Okay, they have a monster negate. Which means I can't use monster effects in my hand anymore. And also I can't summon cards because of gigantic sprites. Floodgate effect. It plays around Nibir and the Bistials. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. They can go into IP Mascarina, not Elf. Don't they usually go into Elf first so they can have the two downward pointing arrows in order to have protection? Oh, I guess this works too. They won't be able to bring back IP Mascarina until I get a monster on board. But I guess they can still get their negate up. <laughs> hmm. So they have the negate. They have to wait for me to commit a monster to board in order to bring out IP Mascarina. Ooh, two baby rulers. But I only have one target for both of them. So we're gonna try to go with lightning in order to send Redox to the grave. And hopefully we can bait the negate with this. So I can use Tier Limit Shine Red in hand. Unmolested. Oh, they're gonna waste it? You know you can't bring back IP Mascarina unless I have a monster, right? At least I don't have to worry about IP Mascarina as well since they're using Alpha a little bit too early. Well, they didn't negate it at all. <sighs> that means I can just crash over red and then... No wait, cards that are summoned this way, they can't attack. But it cannot attack this turn. This is this a bad end board? Yeah, I don't think they're... They, they know what they're doing. Oh well, Teal and Shiren. I hope they don't negate this. Ash Blossom. Crap. I really need these cards on board. Let's see. I have another dragon ruler in the grave, but if they negate this, then I'm out of resources. But I have to go for it. Banish the two babies, especially the one in my hand. Response. They also had a ghost spell in hand. Fuck. Okay, well, normal summon Shiren. And then attack over Elf, <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. They had a set Gamma Burst. <laughs> Who plays Gamma Burst? Hmm, do I have a way to gain advantage during my opponent's turn? This sends a trap from my deck to the grave, but none of my traps do anything. So I have to rely on this. 
God damn it. They stopped all my plays without even using their Sprite Red. I'm so dead. <clears throat> Time to banish one of their cards. Well, nobody plays Gamma Burst. Who could have expected that? I thought they'd search their honest. What was it, Pixies or something? No, they searched out red. They didn't even go into jet. Okay, I'm done. Dead. Wow, I can't believe I couldn't play through two hand traps. Cringe. That's my first loss of the day. Oh my god, is it... crapping out on me? Is purely a viable deck to climb? I have no idea. Maybe? <gasps> I'm going second? Whatever. Hmm, two tier limits, a baby, and two big ones. Having Shiren is always good because it can mill three and send one of them to the grave. And having a baby gets a free card on board. I have so many materials. Ah, oh, shit, it's Sword Soul. But can I do it through two negates? Maybe. <clears throat> Bro lost the coin flip and dipped. Oh, is that what that was? Damn it, stop asking me to use the effect. I'm not gonna waste it. Toggle off. Wait, did they just open with Long Yon? Long yon, long yon. Oh wow, they're playing Chunjun. Nobody played that hard. Of course they would go into this one. Oh well, it's fine. If my cards get banished, I can still surge off of them. Oh, they also have Taya. Well, I guess this is one way to get to the same end board. Are there any TCG card games with a similar rarity as Ghost Ultimate Secret of Yu-Gi-Oh? I have no idea. Cheese out. Oh, they get to draw a card. Whoa. I almost forget that card has that effect. So, one negate. And two banishes. But the banishes only for traps. Spells and traps. Which shouldn't affect the ones I use. Hmm. And the negate's only on board, which I don't really care about outside of my XYZ summons. What did they send? The Abyss Dragon Soul? Holy shit. Ow.
They didn't search out um, Blackout, did they? Probably because they already have it. Okay, so the first monster I summon is going to get banished. So I'm going to use that in order to summon out Tidal and get that card banished. Hello, Mr. Logs. Who's Mr. Logs? There it is. It's going to get banished, which will activate its search effect. <laughs> which allows me to go into Laundry Dragon Maid. Uh-oh. If this card is special summon, you can target one card in the field zone and one monster in your opponent controls or graveyard and banish them. Okay, I don't have to worry about the effect. Okay, I get to add Laundry Dragon Maid to my hand. Kick, 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 kick. Okay, I'm gonna bait out the negate by summoning Laundry, try to mill three. And if they don't negate, well then I get a mill three. Seems like a win-win to me. Ooh, they went for it. That means I can go into Tomahawk unmolested. I should stop saying that. <laughs> That's just how they, they describe things in books. Okay, I'm a book reader. Tier Limit Shiren. Special summon it. And send one card from my hand to the grave. Uh, Redox. Send three. It hit three dragons. Damn, nice. Okay, and then we can go into IP's Mascarina. I could just go into Nightmare Phoenix and pop one of those back row cards. Give me a second, I need to think. I go to Nightmare Phoenix and I go into that one card and I won't be able to go into any other things. I think I need to go into, um... IP Mascarina. We can go with other things later. IP Mascarina. If they use Blackout now, that would be nice. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? Warning point? This is a dual links card. That means I can't use it as a material for a link summon this turn. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody plays that. That's such a Duel Links card, you piece of garbage. Okay, so we'll go into Redox. Um, Redox will banish a baby and Tempest. Because I'm pretty sure Tempest can still search this turn. Tempest will search out another baby for me. Okay. And then I can just go into tier limits, cash tier to get another level seven on board. And mill three cards. Also mill Shiren from the grave. Your side. Ooh, scream. This will get me a trap card. They're gonna banish it from my grave? I didn't know they could do that. Huh. Interesting. Not that it matters. Flip a card face down, I guess. Whatever. And then Galaxy Tomahawk. Coke, 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 coke. Activate Galaxy Tomahawk by detaching two materials and summon five tokens. Or four tokens because my extra monster zone's taken up. Okay, and now I can go into this card, Nightmare Phoenix. What is Metanose's effect? Uh, target one two-lit monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Ooh, not half bad. Okay, Mirror Force. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> 
Link Spider. And then, um, Promethean Princess. Do I have a blaster in the grave? Yeah, I do. I also am about to put, um, Phoenix in the grave. Promethean Princess, bring back, uh, might as well bring back Unicorn. Phoenix, I mean. Okay, and then we can go into Amber Whale. Um, what other materials do I have? I don't really have good materials. Amber Whale. With its 3200 attack, I blast her in the grave, you can come out. So I can bring out two more level 7s, but I don't really have anything good to use them on. Damn, I really gotta stop getting rid of the Odd Eyes package, which gives me three attacks. Use it to go into Zelantis? I can't. Did I use Redox? Yeah, I think I've used them all, so I'm gonna banish babies from the grave as tribute fodder. So Blaster can attack this turn, but Tempest can't. So we're just gonna go for it. Um, 2,900, 3,000. If I go for this one, I can't destroy the other ones. But Blaster can evenly crash into a Chizau. And there's no Mirror Force! Uh, and pass. And now, IP Mascarina is free! I should just play a second copy of IP Mascarina. Use Whale in order to go into Zelantis. Oh my god, that would be a good idea! Strategist Sword Soul. Long Yon. I can go into Promethean Princess and destroy Strategis, or should I get rid of the token? I should probably get rid of the token. Because the lock doesn't really do anything to them. And then activate it in the graveyard, select a target. Oh, it comes back and now can't be destroyed by battle. They can't be destroyed by battle. I also have a material for IP Masquerita, but I don't have anything to go into. No, wait, I can go into... Oh, I can't go into anything. Amber Well. The Link 3 destroy all this card in the grave, banish this card, and then destroy one card on the board. Oh my god. Holy crap, this is awesome. Nightmare Phoenix and Princess can't be destroyed by battle. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. Hee hee hee. Burner! Wow, they are so ham burned right now. Let's ham burned. <laughs> I meant ham boned. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> special summon blaster from the deck. And then special summon blaster from the grave by banishing some. Let's see here. If we banish these two cards, we can get two searches. Okay, Redox search number one, Tempest search number two. All the value, this is the power of dragon ruling. Redox, search out a boulder. Okay, and then activate Promethean Princess to special summon a burner from the grave. And then battle phase, I guess, because I'm actually like fire locked right now. Okay, it's not game because one of my dudes can't attack because of the lock. Okay. Maybe I need some more fire dudes. Hmm, give me a second. Did they quit? 
What an absolute buffoon. Hmm, give me a second. It's like it's not downloading. Have you tried the new volcanic support? No, not yet. Do you play Love All Monsters in this deck? No. Odd Eyes. This one. And then a Rebellion Dragon. Two level seven dragons. That would have been good to have. Also, having my IP Mask Arena locked out wasn't the poggiest idea. Maybe I can get rid of Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack since Galaxy Tomahawk basically fulfills the same conditions. And then just play one more IP Mask Arena. Or... Play, um... Cerberus. No, why am I going to play Cerberus? Are there any fire X level seven XYZs? Ah, oh, there's two of them. Black Rose, you need more links if you want to value off of Tomahawk. That's true. This card attack directly, but when it does, using the fact that battle damage to inflict your opponent is halved. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent. You can detach one of from this card, inflict finer damage to your opponent for each card in their hand. Whoa. I can set up Zeus. And it can be summoned under Promethean Princess Amaryllis. Hmm. Give me a second. There, I'll play an ad for you guys. Hollow Life Bearer has got to be the longest a card has gone without actually telling you what it did. This card came out in 2004 and had the effect to reduce all damage you took this turn to zero. Now what you probably think this card means is that if you take any effect damage or you would get attacked directly, you would take zero damage. But did you know this card also prevented your monsters from getting destroyed by battle? Because the card doesn't say it anywhere in its text. You see, when this card was printed, they treated cards which reduce a monster's damage to zero as not being able to be destroyed by battle with only one other card in the game with this effect and wording. But the funny thing is, there's no ruling that states this. This was actually a ruling from Magic that people designed the game back then just to assume people would know works on your Yu-Gi-Oh monsters as well. In 2006, Wabaku received an errata in order to clarify the prevent your monsters from being destroyed by battle. But also in 2006, Hollow Light Bear received an errata, which simply clarified it did indeed reduce the damage you took from effects to zero as well, neglecting to mention also prevent your monsters from being destroyed. And since this card wasn't very popular or very good because of its discard cost, they never bothered to create a new copy that properly explained what it did until 2022, where it finally got its text updated 16 years later. If a card is set to be destroyed, it cannot be returned to the deck or hand, but you can interact with them in pretty much any other way. This is a ruling that almost never matters. However, there are some situations in which this might come up. Say for example, you activate the ability of Stella Knight Trivered to bounce all cards on the field to the hand and then you chain the effect of Called by the Grave. Even though Called by is not supposed to go to the graveyard yet until the chain resolves, it will not be bounced back to your hand, even though it's still on the field, because it's classified as set to be destroyed by game mechanics. This is the case for normal quick play and ritual spells and all trap cards, and also monsters during the damage step that have been destroyed. It's why Penguin Soldier cannot bounce itself back to the hand with its own effect if it was destroyed by battle when being flipped face up, but it can target itself if it wasn't destroyed. However, you can use cards set to be destroyed as a cost and even destroy slash banish and target them with negate effects, which is why you can chain Forbidden Droplet to a called by to get an extra negate, and why you can target a Lightning Storm with a Red Dragon, even if you can't bounce them back to the hand. In late 2003, Vampire Lord was released. This card was a meta staple. It required one tribute or destroy by battle pyramid toward it to be brought out, had 2000 attack, and had the effect to come back to the field the next turn if it was destroyed by a card effect. This card was considered so good it was limited to one copy for a long time. But then in early 2004, Chaos Emperor Dragon was released. 
It only required one light and dark monster in the graveyard to be special from the hand. It had blue eyes stats, and it could wipe the entire field in both players' hands for a thousand light points and burn your opponent for 300 damage per card. If this card had no effect, it's some. All right, I just had to send some messages. We're just having problems with the download link for one of the videos that got turned in. Okay, man, my feet really hurt. I played some b-ball with my little brother and my nephew yesterday. And I was like, hey, let's do 2v1, you both versus me. And they're like, is that fair? And I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. And then when I was up eight to zero, <laughs> I got super tired. <laughs> and I was like, Here's the thing, my little brother, he's, a, he's, he's, he's an adult. He's like 24 years old. And my nephew's like 13. And they're both um, like physically fit. Like if you looked at the three of us together, you would not think that I was the most athletic out of all of us. And once the thing is, I haven't worked out since November though, because of all my health problems. So I was just out of stamina and that's how they finally caught up. So it was eight to zero before I could just like, I just couldn't catch up to them anymore. Cause I felt like I was gonna like pass out cause I was just so exhausted. And then eventually I got the last point and won because we're like, cause they got tired too. Cause they, my little brother wasn't physically fit either. <laughs> or like didn't have much stamina. And so it was eight to eight or like, instead of going to 21, let's just go to 10. And they're like, okay. And I scored the last basket and won. Actually, I think it was eight to two. It was eight to two. They, they did score one early on and then couldn't score anymore. But my feet are just sore. <laughs> my feet. <laughs> I've never had my feet sore before. <laughs> like I'm walking, I'm just like, oh wow, there's like my feet are actually sore. I've had like my calves, my uh my thighs and all that stuff sore before, but never my actual feet. I didn't know your feet could get sore. But I guess I was just b-balling it too hard. Do, 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 do. So we have agents, huh? So the card they searched out in the back row, Fallen Sanctuary is a monster negate, but only on the board. They can also disrupt my graveyard and banish it. But they banish cards from the graveyard, which is fine because my dragon rollers search if they're banished. But only if they haven't activated their effects. The other cards, oh, they get disconnected. <laughs> Didn't have to worry about that. Did I finish my dailies? I still have to XYZ summon one more monster. Okay, if you say so. I used to walk everywhere and play too much sports back in high school. And yeah, my feet were sore a lot. Well, I played sports too in high school. My feet were never sore. But then again, I played, I was very physically fit in high school. So maybe it was a little bit different. I was too, Fit in order to have my feet get sore. <laughs> oh my god, I really love that I like don't have a shit ton of energy anymore. Because my um whatchamacallit, for like a week, my body was just full of just motivation and energy. Have you guys ever seen the movie Limitless? Where it's basically about a guy who takes like a pill and it like unlocks all of his his brain power and he becomes like a super genius. And he like does a whole bunch of things. It wasn't like that. But I did have a ton of motivation and energy to do things. 
And what I really wanted to do was make lists and like count things. And that was like my biggest thing was I wanted lists. And what I ended up doing was playing a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh. And I was just going through and categorizing cards like crazy. Oh, I have wrong card. <laughs> I meant to go into something else. <laughs> and then I had to ban myself from Yu-Gi-Oh because I stayed up to like 5 o'clock in the morning just like playtesting decks. And then I got obsessed with Pokemon the next day and I started reading through all the cards for that. And then I just started like categorizing other things like lists and ideas for future videos and just um, merch stuff. And it, it got to the point where I had so much energy, it was uncomfortable. And I just didn't know what was like going on. And I was like, oh my god, I have too much. I need to go like for a run or something. But not only did I have too much energy, I was also like the idea of making lists and organizing things and reading cards and categorizing them and like min-maxing everything was just so ridiculously appealing that it was crazy. And then eventually, um, it went away. And I told my therapist about it. And I was like, I don't know if she was like, was so anything happened since last time? And I was like, um, I don't know if this is really worth talking about, but like I was incredibly energetic and I wanted to like, you know, put everything into lists and it was so bad. It felt like I had like, um, OCD and she's like, oh, when did this start happening? And I was like, oh, like two weeks ago. She's like, two weeks ago, so like when we had our last therapy session? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, the therapy session where um, you felt like you unlocked some past core memories that you did that found uncomfortable? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, maybe you were your brain was super energized because it was trying to create distractions for you. And I was like, oh, that would make sense. Ooh, let's see if this works. <gasps> a Zeus? Wait, why did they summon Electromagnetic Turtle in attack mode? Are they trying to go into an XYZ summon? I mean, I have a Lost of Winds face down. I got spurts of energy like that too, followed by being depressed for days. It's called being bipolar. Oh shit. My mom and little brother are bipolar. <laughs> There's a chance I could have it, you know? <laughs> Wait, what are they going into? Oh, it's a structure deck? Ain't no way. Oh man, my feet are so sore. It is if they added a ton of jink. I mean, individually, Electromagnetic Turtle is an okay card, but the other one isn't exactly something I call meta. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why do they have <laughs> thousand knives? Not even. <laughs> Not even Dark Magician players use Thousand Knives. Any other time I've seen this game on another channel or YouTube, the game's over in two turns. Oh yeah, this one has lasted a while. The thing is, games might be over in two turns, but they're still really long. It's just, it's a really long time setting up your turn. I found that when I started playing the Pokemon online game, 
that turns can be just as long as Yu-Gi-Oh turns with how much setup is required. Because, like, the amount of search power that Yu-Gi-Oh, that, not Yu-Gi-Oh, the amount of searching that Pokemon has and drawing is so ridiculous that cards which just simply put cards from your graveyard back into your deck are like meta staples. And like I've never realized just how good it feels to draw into one of those recycler cards until I played Pokemon and I was like, oh my god. I get to put three of my energies back in my my deck, thank god, now I can search them all out this turn. <laughs> The master of chaos. Oh. Target one light in your graveyard. You can tribute one light, banish all monsters your opponent controls. Can I use Paleozoic Dynomishkus? Paleozoic Dynomishkus. This card. Um, uh, putting cards from the grave into the deck. What is this? Medulches? Yeah, pretty much. Get banished. Give me Lost Winds back. What is Master of Chaos summoning back? A Dark Magician? Wow, cringe. Here, a special summoned. Do I not have anything to use with my Shiren to go into a fusion summon? No, I don't. What are they going into? Chaos Angel. Ah, fuck. I mean, ah, heck. Activate, rise to full height. Now they can only target my Zeus for an attack this turn. What? He's not in the field? That means he can't attack this turn. Hee hee hee. Battle phase? What are you battling? My Zeus is gone. <laughs> Asghul? Damn it, do I have Redox? <laughs> Fuck, I can't do anything. <laughs> Am I gonna lose to this garbage? Street Patrol Stygian. <gasps> like Stygia. You can have its attack anyway. Yeah. <gasps> and then I can bring out. No, it'll get destroyed if I do that. Okay. <laughs> tier limit scream I can't do anything with this I need a tier limit card to meal with that oh no just give me one of my dragons if you just give me one dragon I'll be fine I can't believe they had chaos angel what the hell Oh shit, that's game. You really about to lose? Yeah. It's not my fault. The sun was in my eyes. Uh oh. The sun was in my eyes. This isn't my real deck. I didn't practice. Just 
Street Patrol Stygian? Well, I went into an XYZ monster. Oh, yeah, I remember. I went into the wrong monster at the start. I completely fumbled with that Titanic Moth. If I'd been able to combo off correctly, I probably would have been fine. That's why I kind of ham boned myself at the start. Okay, now I need to go into solo mode. Time to learn a new deck. Complete, clear, 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 Ghost Beats Girl. What, they have two stories? Well, I don't want to do that. And the crowd went wild. Ooh, another one. Select change decks. Um, let's learn Earthbound Runic. Deck selected. <gasps> I'm going first. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon a level 5 or lower earthbound monster from your deck or graveyard. Holy shit! Also, you cannot special summon for the next deck rest of this turn except for fusion or synchro monsters. You can only use the effect once per turn. Earthbound monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects while there is a field zone in the field zone. What is Black Garden used for? Like, I know it summons tokens, but, like, what are they used for? Runic tip. Add a runic card from your deck to your hand. Let's just add the field spell. Which is an easily searched field spell? I guess. No ash? They probably won't have ash. Special summon a card from the deck, so there's two of them. If this card is no more special summon, add an earthbound prison or harmonic synchro fusion from your deck or graveyard to your hand. If you control a level 6 or high earthbound monster, you can banish this card from a graveyard and then target one effect monster your opponent controls. That was special summon from the extra deck. Shuffle that face up monster uh, into the deck. Then your opponent can special summon one monster with the name, same name from the extra deck. What? Um, well, this is a UR, so it's probably good. If there's a card in the field zone, you can spell some of this card from your hand. You can only use effect once per turn. Uh, you can discard this card at a level 3 or lower Fiend Tuner from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot spell some for the next track rest of this turn, except for Fusion or Synchros. You can only use effect once per turn. So, you can special summon and you can search out basically the card I just got. So, you want to go into this one. And then use its effect to search out. <laughs> Earthbound Prison, which is a field spell. When this card is activated, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls. This card gains its effect. While this card is in the field zone, they get the effects of the monsters. During your main phase, you can normal summon earthbound monster to normal summoner set. If this card is possessed, destroy by opponent's card, and you have an earthbound monster on the field or in the graveyard, have your opponent's life points. And if you do, negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn. Damn. That's a crazy effect. Crazy good. Dispelling. So if I activate one of these cards. Special summon. Uh, give me a second. I need to think really hardly about this. Are either of these tuners? Uh, oh, they're both tuners. Let's see. I have Garden Rose Maiden. Stardust Charge Warrior at 6. Coral Dragon at 6, Ancient Pixie Dragon at 7, Berserker at 8, Croco Dragon, Barone. So let's see, we have a 3 and a 1. So if I go into Fairy, the 3 will let me go into level 8, or a 6 with the 1, and then a 9 afterwards, but that's not what I want. If I go into the 4, I can go into a 5, and then an 8, or I can go into a 7, and then an 8. 
Hmm, a five and then an eight doesn't do anything. A seven and then an eight gives me Draco Berserker. If I go into a two, that allows me to go into a five and then a six. I don't want to do that. I think this is probably the best bet. Now Spleener. <gasps> the level nine. Right, I can add that to the deck now. Why did none of you guys remind me of that card? Do you guys want me to fail? Are you trying to make me fail? Yes? Okay, at least you're honest. If you said anything else, I would say you're lying. Wait, what? After resolving a field spell card that's activating your turn, draw a card. Once per turn, you can target one face up to monster, destroy the target. There must be filled. Fuck! Oh, how come it wasn't destroyed? Earthbound monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects while there's a card in the field zone. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Uh, okay, well, um, uh, um, uh, I can go into another Earthbound card then. Yeah, I got saved by my own card. Uh, do either of these search? If I go into Black Garden and then I go into some summons, I can get some tokens on board in order to bring back Rose Maiden. What does Rose Maiden do? Summon, you can add a Black Garden, protect your graveyard to your hand. You can banish this from your graveyard, target a Rose Dragon or a Dragon Rose Synchro Monster in your graveyard, and special summon it. Wait, how come I can't go into a level 8? Oh, I can. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Pass. Hell yeah, look at this board. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's banish it. And also, this is a special summon destroy. Let's search out the monster negate. Are you winning, Mr. Logs? Yeah. Mm, freezing curses. Haha, <laughs> get banished, idiot. Ah, oh, shit. Should have used this a little bit earlier. I didn't know that it didn't chain. End phase? You can't just end. Uh, once per turn, target UA monster. Can't be sure what battle or card effects this turn. During your opponent's turn. Okay, so I should be able to pop it this turn then. Target one special summon monster your opponent controls and get rid of it. I'll keep freezing curses. Activate Fountain in order to draw two cards. Here, how to make an Unchained deck with the new cards? No. Then I'd have to play Unchained. Uh, special Summon. You can discard this card at a level through lower tuner monster. Also cannot special summon. You can lose back once per turn. Wow, I can special summon and activate its effects. Add prisoner. Um, mm, get an additional normal sum. I'm not gonna use my normal summon. What's up with Unchained? I don't know. What's this up with you? What is this effect if it's special summoned? Doesn't have one. That one also doesn't have an effect, I guess. Oh, <gasps> Crocodon! Whoa, that's crazy. Let's see here. How can I win this turn? Oh, I can't because my battle phase is gonna get skipped. So I might as well get put up disruption. Um. Okay. Activate dispelling. You don't have the fusion spell. That's three searches I guess not I dead deck this so I don't know what I'm doing okay and then we can charge warrior to draw another card 
Here a net decker. I'm net decking in order to learn how to play this deck because no one plays it in ladder. Usually I learn new decks by my opponent just using them incessantly over and over and over and over and over. Wait, I can go to go into Crocodon or I can special summon another card with this level 3 monster. The level 3 I can get a 4 and then go into a 7 but I don't have a 7. I could go into a, th a 2 and go into a 5. But Garden Rose Maiden's kind of weak. I could go into... Hmm... If I go into Coral Dragon, I can't do anything. I can go into a 4 somehow, but I can't do that either. But there are level 4s. I could do that. I don't know why I can't, though. First, let's Runic Tip get another card in the grave. Can You, you can go into Pep. I could if I had it. You're assuming that I have that card. Target one of your spells with some monsters. No, not yet. Now, Freezing Curses in order to special summon a runic monster from the deck. If I go into level 2, um, still not enough. There's level 1 that would work. If I go into this one, a level 7 plus 6, no, that doesn't work either. <laughs> It doesn't matter what I go into. I could go into Pep if I had Pep. Ooh, another summon. Okay. Ooh, I can go into Garden Rose Maiden. I'm not going to, though. We'll go into this card for some popping. Wow, look how big this thing is. <coughs> it has 5,000 attack, and I have 8 cards in hand. Hmm. 7. Now he's going to not use any of my cards so I can win next turn. <sighs> Ain't nothing wrong with net decking. There's everything wrong with net decking. Oh, they're going to attack that? That's fine. I don't need Hugin. End phase. Cronko Dragon? No, I think I'll be fine. I can't use any of my card effects this turn. Add an Earthbound. If you control a level 6, banish card from the graveyard. Target effect much more controls. A spell to summon. That's the wrong one. Is this enough damage to win this turn? No. It's not. It's only 7,500. <clears throat> that only has 800... Oh, I can banish it. Wait, what? That still worked? What the hell, man? Um, crap. Maybe I should try just decking them out. Is this the try hard account? I don't think Earthbound Runic is exactly try hard. summon was that a goki card you look at other people's decks if it's an archetype you're still learning me too I'm learning maybe I should watch a video on this
earth bound um what is this stack called again oh runic Uh, Earthbound Prisoner Runic, 10 minute testing. Earthbound Prisoner Runic. He was raw from two months ago. First place undefeated Earthbound Runic. Oh, oh. Yeah, let me mute this real quick. Uh, let me see how my screen works. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Subscribe. Okay. We're gonna be light. Let's go. Oh my god, this is so cute. Shout out to our members. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> the intro's long, he has a way to. What's going on guys? We are back again with another first place undefeated deck profile. This man has created this deck from scratch, surely, 100%. It's all my original creation. <laughs> um, Mr. Roy Van Bolton, uh, tell us what you're playing. I'm playing uh, Mother 3 Earthbound Runic. Yeah, okay. And you had no inspiration for this whatsoever. No anyway. inspiration. No uh, German people at all have tested this on stream intensely and versed other... Is Joshua Schmidt German? I don't know. Glorious, like people, and no inspiration at all. Okay, all right, I love it. Let's talk about your rounds. Round he one, is? Oh, I okay. first Nathan, who was playing Blue Eyes Exodia. Yep. Because like right underneath it, it shows like Joshua Schmidt. I cooked a new runic deck with Twitch chat. Because of my runics, I, I managed to Exodia pieces like thirty times. Yeah, uh, we love that. I, that was, his accent is literally German. I don't watch his videos. <laughs> I don't know what a German accent is. <laughs> that one was pretty easy. Round two was against Lab, and game one I got the combo combo uninterrupted, and I had the stuff to keep his lady. I mean, I have watched some of his videos. Um, I just am not a regular watcher, so I don't know his thing. Are you German? I uh, part German, but like, I don't know that side of my family. Off of um, setting a trap, so I outgrinded him. And then game two. You yeah. watch Shy Lily? No, I don't watch Shy Lily. I know of her, but I don't watch her because her content's not really for me. He, like, set two parts, and then I just won. Um, I just outgrinded him again. I uh, had an anti spell, and I changed destruction to it. It was very fun. Game three was against Callum, and said, get to found. Completely <laughs> original. Any of the other two, the line walker and the big dolphin looking thing, the stone sweeper. That looks like uh, a three of each, huh? It's like a weird mix of the two. Uh, okay. This one summons either of these two. This one can discard to search either of these two. And line walker, when summoned, whether it's normal or special, uh, is able to search you an earthbound prison. Or a harmonic fusion, but harmonic fusion is garbage and plays into nibs and a bunch of other things. And prison is way cooler. Uh, the cool thing is, Ooh. This one can summon from deck or graveyard, and Line Walker can add from deck or graveyard. So if you draw this or this or whatever, you can discard it for Hugans or Jet Synchrons or anything. It doesn't matter because you're not really wasting resource because they just get to use each other. So it's basically Whoa. six copies of the one, and then one of the three because Whoa. the one's the best one. And then Prison is uh, like brick, but it's not really brick, which is kind of a cool thing. And then we have the Runic cards, which is a lot. We have two Fountain, it's at two. We have three no, tip. it's at one. We have three flashing. We have three freezing curses. Yeah, yeah, we have, I know how the runics work. have like five names, including the subnet. I go through three at least. So the, the droplet was the third dispelling, but I decided to just make it a droplet because it's kind of better for like playing your turns out, I guess. Okay. Uh, and it's 20 runic spells and then two fountains. You really, really want to see runic spells. Like two in your hand is ideal. And then the non, well, the engine non like archetype cards are Black Garden. Funny, you'll find out why. And a, Jinsec, a Jet Synchron, also funny, you'll also find out why. Um, this is also a good discard. Then the non-engine is just three draw, three tactics. Uh, clean, 
40 cards. Three draw and uh, three the reason, tactics? I guess I went Ooh. tactics and I went draw. Is, tactics is good for if you get hand trapped, draw is just the best hand trap. Uh, better than Ash, better than the other stuff. Better than D Shift. I would run D Shift around good. <laughs> Extra deck is two Hugin, two Gary, one Slepnir. Uh You really need two of each. Gary, I summon two Gary, like, I summon two Gary more than I summon two Hugin. And you add back the fountain because you have three field spells throughout the deck. So you will play, like, a garden over your fountain. And then you will add back the fountain and play it again and like draw three again. It's kind of funny. Ooh. And Stephanie is a really good one because it's a nine, and with the level one tuner is a free baron. Okay. Uh, Ooh, a free and then baron. You have all your kind of synchro combo stuff. Uh, so this is kind of one of the main pieces. Garden Rose Maiden. It searches the Black Garden, which if you haven't read, we're basically running as a searchable glorified monster reborn. Because in the combo, you're going to go into Garden Rose Maiden. Uh, if you open like two, two Runics and Earthbound, you're going to go into Garden Rose Maiden off of the two and the three, and you're going to get your Black Garden. And then you're going to go Coral Dragon, and then you're going to make a Gary, and then you can make a 10. And then if you have anything else to play, Black Garden lets you revive a uh, the Mine Walker. If you have one summon, or if you have two summons and you want to go for it, you can summon this one. Um, so it's just Ooh. extra, extra. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Line Walker has um, 800 attack, and Prisoner's Stone has 1600. That's why they play it. Because um, Black Garden allows you to tribute, like, destroy itself as well as a number of tokens, and then you can special summon a monster equal to, like, the attacks. And the attacks are 800, so you can only special summon monsters of the Black Garden that have multiples of 800 attack. And this has 800, and this has 1600. That makes sense. I get it now. Extension on top of everything. Uh, Coral Dragon's like absolutely vital because it like it just lets you climb into Baron so easily. Charge Warrior is here alongside River Crop because if you only open one Runic. You can go through these to just draw two cards and hope you see another runic. If not, you end on six cards in hand. Black Road Garden card. does things? So yeah, it does. Uh, I made a bunch yeah. of Black Road Garden decks back in the day. Ancient Fairy, you can make this really easily. And it's funny because it searches other field spells. And also, it can summon things from hand like Line Walker. And that's 7 plus 3, which is another 10. Oh, you don't you have Battle Omega Phase anyway. Because you kind of get to situations where you can get an 8. Omega also is one of the only cards that can recycle things from the Banished or the Graveyard. Uh, but it's also really funny because you grind them down and then you Omega rip their hand resource and it's like game breaking or strong. Like, Ooh. I did it versus in the lab matchup. I got him down to like three cards, ripped one, and he only had two to work with. And I had like six. Like, he can't do anything. Uh, Baron, you make it every single turn. Baron's insane. Chen Ying as the. So you don't run any of the main parts? Well, no, because the main Earthbound cards suck ass. <laughs> Other 10, because I it's kind of Chen really Ying. good. I love that. Chen Ying is so strong in runics. Like, you activate one runic, like, you just activate the normal effect, not the summon. It banishes off the top, and then you Chen Ying, non target, two banish cards, like, banish two cards. It's actually really, really good. Uh, I like it a lot as an interaction. And plus, it can't, like, be destroyed normally. It's hard to out as well. And then the two other ones are Marcha and Excel, because there are lines you go through. Not even one immortal? No. They're all bad. If you get hand trapped on like Hugens or um, like Line Walker or Groundkeeper or whatever, so that you have to go through these so you can keep playing. The other neat thing is, I found this Excel kind of lets you play under Droll if you do your standard combo because you will have these on the board and you will summon the Hugin. You will have these on the board, you'll summon the Hugin, and I will add and they'll Droll you. And if you have any other runic on top of your fountain, you say, sure. You go these into Excel. Excel will send the jet and make it a six. And the increase is permanent. And then you'll activate your fountain. And then they play the game. And like basically after they do literally any action, or whenever you want to time it, this can summon Gary, wherever my Gary is. And then because this is a six, because it's permanent, this can quick synchro into Baron. And then you can still make the Baron through Troll, basically. And you can use Fountain Draw on their turn. So you kind of still get to where you want to. Uh, I thought that was really neat. You mean and that, like, you get to play through Nymph mean through the Baron. Baron. That one lets you play through Troll. It's a very resilient deck. Um, and it's quite a lot of fun. It's very free for me. Like I said, once you get to a point, you have two Runics, and you'll, like, make Baron. But you will have six cards in hand, depending Don't on what they Baron. are. You just go hell, like, to the wall. You do literally whatever you want. I did Baron, Chen Ying, Omega some games. Like, it's just crazy. Yeah, right. So what you're saying is you come to YCS then? Maybe. <laughs> Never know. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, my friend. Um, do you have any shout-outs? Shout-out to... 
a little known German man that may have tipped me off to this deck. Uh, Joshua Schmidt, I like his streams. Uh, Shout out to Big Dick Pete. Big Dick Pete. Big Dick Pete. Oh, we should listen to Big Penis Affirmations. Um, Penis Affirmations. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I like them. Where are my liked videos? Did I not save them? You have got to be kidding me, right meow. Can we listen to Big Penis ASMR again? Of course, but I don't have them saved. Uh, penis affirmations. Boost your sexual confidence. Let's see if I can find the last ones I watched. Ah, here it is. There as well as the ability to be vulnerable. And so moving your awareness now to your penis and groin area. <laughs> My penis is becoming stronger. 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 <laughs> I feel the energy increasing in my penis and groin area. <laughs> I feel the energy increasing in my penis and groin area. I feel the energy increasing in my penis and groin area. I am learning. How to get and maintain an erection. <laughs> I am learning how to get and maintain an erection. I bet her penis is massive. I am yeah. learning how to get and maintain an erection. My erection is becoming stronger and stronger. My erection is becoming stronger and stronger. My erection is becoming stronger and stronger. And as you repeat these words, imagine this energy flows into your penis and groin area. Your sexual energy increases the presence there, the blood flow. The strength and the power. So now becoming aware of the whole of you. Your mind, body, heart and penis. Penis. Oh, let's listen to it. Feel a new Sigma unfolding presence and strength there. Wait, Sigma female affirmations. Whoa. Today's video is on Sigma Female's affirmation. Not so sure why they are special. Journey today with the mastermind to have a gleam. The fuck? That's not a girl. Have you ever heard about Sigma Females, the introverted alphas? That's AI. Everyone knows the Queen is the most powerful chess piece in the game. This is Alex from Mindful Wave Studio. Use these powerful app. That's a guy! The Lioness hunts. The alpha female protects the pack. I am a huntress. Wow, these suck. I am a warrior. I am a goddess. 
I am an alpha female. Alpha male. There's a powerful intensity in my eyes that other men around me lack. So true. I have a fire in my eyes. I decide the rules of my inner and outer kingdom. So true. I reign over the empire I've created. I am a loner, and this gives me strength, courage, and authenticity. Do you think Leah would read an alpha male ASMR script? I'm a lone, Maybe. dangerous lion. I'd rather hear Meowie read it, though. I can walk across a savanna full of packs of hyenas without a moment of doubt or hesitation. This is boring. What the fuck is this? Mm. Oh. It's you. No thanks. Hello. Oh, oh, you're still working. Yeah, I'm working right now. No, I. There's nothing urgent. There's nothing pressing or. I. Spit it out already. I'm working. I was just wondering when you were going to finish your working. That's all. I usually finish at midnight. Maybe soon? Oh, okay. No, not um, soon. When's maybe soon? Um, in like is four that, hours? Um, an hour? Or is that more like, um... I'll finish by the end of the day. Four hours. Maybe soon. Four hours. Oh, Please don't speak to it me. It depends. You're uh, very much interrupting my work. Um. Well, the reason why I'm asking. Ooh. Um. Ooh. It's it's been a um a little while since we last um. You know. Since we last what? Um, oh, it's because we have separate beds, and I don't we, like you touching. We me. had a little cuddle this morning, and then, and then you said you had to get work done, and now it's well, I had to do work too, which was understandable. Um, but now it's the evening, and I. And you what? I'm. And you want to bother me? And it's okay to bother me. What's the word? Um, I'm getting um, a little bit of withdrawal, to be perfectly honest. Withdraws? Oh my god, you're so busy. needy. I know you have a deadline for your work, but, but when exactly is your deadline? It has to be done by April Fools. We can't get it done any so after because it's an April Fools video, you idiot. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you an days. idiot. You are a smart, independent well, woman. Well, I'm sure you'll have more than enough time to finish everything, and you don't have to get it all done today, do you? Yes, I do. Oh. No. No, that's right. So, you could, you know, stop for today and start again tomorrow? No. I... I have been... trying to pace myself. Thinking it's only a couple more hours. I'm sure soon they'll come around and stroke <laughs> my arm a little or... What the fuck are you talking about? Just do my hair. <laughs> no! And then we'll cuddle. 
<laughs> that sounds awful. I don't want to do any of that. But I, I understand if you know you're in, you know you're in the zone, and I completely understand if your if head's you understand, not in then the right why are you bothering space. me? Oh my god, I've had this conversation before. It's been, um... Nearly ten hours. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm fine, I promise, I swear. I'm, I'm alright, sweetheart. I... I just, um... I, I... It's just a bad habit of mine counting the hours. Lord knows you never had this conversation. I have some incredibly needy friends. Okay. <laughs> and I don't mean to make you feel guilty or anything. It's, I know that I can get a little... It's not a needy. Oh, fuck, I don't have any more level 8s. Shit. I... I know that... That not everything can revolve around me and my... Cuddle time with you. Rip Leah? Dude, Leah is the I least. Am. It's just been uh, she's, pressing she's, on my mind, that's it. all. And, well, as some wise person once said, Fuck, no, I don't want to do if that. you don't ask, you don't Damn get. It. And I just wanted to remind you, that's it, just remind you that it's an activity that you are. That you can participate cuddle in times? Oh, I've never had anyone ask me for cuddle times. Participate. If that's what you mean specifically, me, then yeah. Well, I meant specifically the bother me while I'm working <laughs> because they want to talk. <laughs> Not cuddles. I Ew, I would never do that. That's awful. In it without you, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I'm just talking your ear off. Yeah, you do ramble a lot. You are busy, aren't you? Yeah. That, that's okay. It's, it's more than fun. I have a question for you guys. Is this something guys want? I'm dead serious. Is this something that guys actually want? Do you want a girl to ask you to cuddle? Because this sounds like a chore to me. I can't imagine... No, not right? This is not, this doesn't sound like a fun activity. It's annoying, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depends on the time and place. I mean, I can understand that, but like, it just doesn't sound like a good idea. Like, not like a good idea, but like, it doesn't sound like a fun thing to do. I mean, it's nice, but not begging for it while she knows you're working. It's nice. I don't like it sounds like a huge inconvenience. Nothing about it sounds um, enjoyable at all. Wait, I don't have a field spell. How come it's letting me use all my effects? Now I have a field spell. Use the effect. What does this do? Oh, negates effects. Cool. Coral dragon. New team watching the movie on the couch. She says something is fine. Um, I don't know if I'd want to sit down and like watch a movie with someone on the couch. That sounds awful. <laughs> I'm be honest. That doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> Uh, put this in attack mode. It's only a 300 attack. Let's go for it. Why so? I don't really like movies. But I do like going to the movie theaters. I don't like watching movies at home. Going to a movie theater is fun. The experience is worth it. What if it's a good movie? Um, I don't really like watching videos at home. I like to go to movie theater if I'm going to do that. Have your life points, idiot. And also negate all your card effects. What if it's a good movie? There's no such thing as good movies. We know you're selfish. I've heard some of the Leo streams. I'm not selfish. I, mean, I, mean, I just know what I want. 
Anne, well, when was the last time you've taken a break? I mean, you haven't really taken... I mean, you've been sat there for many hours now, and mm. I just... I don't want you to get, you know, strained or too tired or anything like that. I... I... I want you to know that I think of your well-being, too. Mm -hmm. It's not just all about me. I know you don't think that way. You are very aware of my clinginess and that you don't mind at all. But sometimes it does worry me that I'm that pushing what? myself on you and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh? You have a proposal? Ooh, what's this proposal that I have? I'm more than happy to hear it. Oh. So, you keep on working and... And I... Take a seat in your lap. What? And cuddle you that way. That sounds annoying. No. Oh, that does sound very nice. Um, are you sure that I won't get in your way? Yes, it would. Incredibly so. Are you, are you positive? Yes, it would be really annoying. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're sure. Oh, it's made me very happy. Oh my god. Oh, I, I do love your cuddles. Blech. Can I... Can I sit down right now? Yes. Oh, thank you. Let me... Yeah, I know I don't have a battle phase this turn. Closer. Oh. Hmm. Oh. So this is your lap. <clears throat> it's very nice. <laughs> it's almost like it was made for me <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was made for me shut the fuck up <laughs> okay let's find uh um ooh, ooh, okay hopefully this one isn't like unhearable hi hello hi Hi. Hey. Remember me? No. Hmm? Your girlfriend? Huh? Remember me? I have a girlfriend? Hello? What's up? Dude. Are you kidding me right now? What? What do you mean about this No, time? because you... Like, I haven't seen you all day. Uh-huh. And then you just come home and sit in bed. You haven't even spoken to me in like an hour. Since, since coming back, and you, I didn't even know you came back. <laughs> like, is there something wrong, or like what? Are you just ignoring? Why does that sound vague like Meowie? That sounds nothing like Meowie. You guys are all idiots. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. You guys are fine. Hello. Get banished. Okay, this one's kind of hard to hear. Let's see about this one. <sighs> oh my goodness. He's still sleeping. Oh my god, what time is it? Uh huh. It's so late. Yeah. I have to get him up already. Babe. 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 Good morning, handsome. Why are you still sleeping? <laughs> You're tired. What time did you go to sleep last night? Mm, like three in the morning. Oh, fucking hell. 
I've been telling you to go to sleep by a regular time. Not uh -huh. fucking 5 a.m. No, 3. Babe, come on. Get up. Yes, get up. Yeah. I am a young, independent mm. woman. Babe. I don't need no man. You don't want to get up? No. No? Nope. It's okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here until you get up. <gasps> and I'm gonna talk to you over and over and over again because I know you love that. Oh my god, that sounds awful. Mm hmm. Open your eyes real quick. Open it. Look. <gasps> Boop. Keep your eyes open. You look so fucking cute sleeping. Ugh. Yeah. You do. You have a girlfriend? <gasps> you don't. Wow. I don't even want to continue the joke anymore. Ooh, this one looks good. Girlfriend reject, re uh, regrets cheating on you. Baby, I'm home. Where are you, baby? Huh? Why are you sitting in the dark, silly? What's that? Hmm? Why... Why are you so serious? Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. What, what do you mean? Wait, I just got home from work. Are you angry at me? What did I do? I don't know, you probably cheated on me oh, based me. on the title. Here, what did I do? If I did something wrong, I'll I'll apologize. I'll make it up to you. How does that sound? So, what did I do? No, dear, don't look the other way. Talk to me. Please. I can't bear this silence. If you're angry at me about something, then I'm sorry. Please, tell me what I did wrong so I can do better. Oh my god, why won't he just say it? This is annoying. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know? What do you mean, you know? Yeah, you what know. What did I do wrong? I don't know. Don't leave me in the dark here. It's getting really confusing. What did I do wrong? Ch cheating? Wait, cheating? What? I'd never cheat on you. You're my favorite person in the world. I would uh -huh. never give you up for someone else. Uh huh. Why would you think that? What made you think that? Uh huh. I've loved you forever. Uh huh. What? Why? Is this a test? Another trend from social media? Are you trying to see if I get jealous? Yeah. Are you trying to test me here? Yeah. Oh come on! What's your game? Ooh, is this not once per turn? What, what's that? Oh, I never used it. What's that in the envelope? Open it. What's this? A, a surprise? What's the note that I handed oh. her? The suspense is killing me! Oh. Yeah. So this is what it is, huh? <laughs> what is it? You, you know, huh? <sighs> Look, 
This was three months ago. I <laughs> I was being stupid and, and I was crazy to even talk to him at the bar that evening and and then we had a few drinks and things got out of hand and no, no, dear, I, I'm so sorry. I, I really promise I, I don't even have his number anymore. I swear. Well, you it don't like even have his number anymore, huh? <laughs> it, it was the alcohol, I swear. Gosh, why did I go to that bar that night? It was the alcohol, huh? Don't even There's have his number way. anymore, huh? Please don't. I, I didn't mean to do it. I swear. I didn't mean to. I'll never do it again. I haven't been to a bar since then. I haven't even touched alcohol. I, I swear. I really didn't mean to. Uh -huh. Today I was so tired and drunk and then he was also drunk and we just kind of accidentally... Uh huh. Yes, you're right. I, I shouldn't make excuses. I should have controlled myself. I'm so sorry. Please, please give me a chance. No. I really didn't mean to. No. Please, no, no, no. Please don't go. No, no, no. We have to talk this through. You can't just leave me here. Yes, I can. No, no, I didn't leave you. No. It oh, fuck, I forgot into the battle phase! Head. No! How did you even get these photos? I swear I Photos left too? Together. <laughs> no, no, I mean I left them as soon as after the... the... <sighs> what? <laughs> your best friend owns the bar? You never told me your friend owned a bar. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, he saw us? Well, then he would have known how drunk we were, right? We were so dizzy and, and drunk. I, I'm mistaken him for you. I uh -huh. swear. Uh huh. Sure. Okay. I'm so sorry. I, I really didn't mean to hurt you. So, so I didn't tell you about that night. I, I didn't. You know, in real life, the guy would probably, most of the time, forgive her and be like, okay, let's stay together. Because couples rarely break up over something so trivial like this. That only happens in the movies. Then she cheat again? Yeah, probably. But the first time, they're not gonna stop after just the first time. Oh, I should Omega to rip a card from their hand. Yes, it was then. It was so long ago. I'm so sorry. No, 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 please, don't go out the door. Is that Pablo? This is home, please. I love you so much. I love you so much. Don't, don't go. Break up? No, 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 no. <laughs> Break <Okay>. up? <laughs> what is this swear, fantasy I'll land? never drink again. I'll never do it again. I'll, I'll never. I, I swear. Please, don't go. No, no, please. Th these photos, they, they mean nothing. They're nothing compared to what I feel for you. Oh my god. You're, you're always my number one. Plus, you're my number one pog I champ. Drunk, I mistaken him for you. So, plus, your best friend must know. C call him. He must know how drunk we were that night. When he took those photos, we were so, so messed up in the head and... Please, <laughs> no, please don't call. You're my number one victory royale. Yeah, exactly. You need space. Yes. Okay, that, that, that's okay. I'll give you space. I'll, I'll give you space. <gasps> You'll give me space? Oh, no, please. I'll give you space. I bet you hit me up the next day. Oh. Space don't never lasts. No, don't. Please. I don't think I can take it if you leave. Please. I Is that a threat? Over and over again within these months. Together. I don't think I can take it if you leave. I know I've always said communication is key in our relationship, but... This is one wrong thing, okay? Please. Oh, please. Isn't this a mistake you guys always make? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. No excuses, no excuses. <laughs> She's trying to shift the play. <laughs> I've... I've I'm in love with you over and over again within these months together. These days we've we've lived together. Please, please don't go. Huh? You too? See? 
We're such a good pair, aren't we? We'd make a great team and couple. So please, let this one go. No? When she's right, she's right. Why not? Please, I'll do anything to make you feel a sense of security within this relationship. I'll, I'll have a curfew. I'll turn my phone tracker on so so we can connect it to yours. Oh, God. Please, <laughs> you know where I am every single day. Oh, no. This is so cringe. Since the start, I can't imagine going anywhere else. Oh, no. Huh? No. I know, I know. Your deal breaker is cheating. I'm so sorry for you. I knew we established that early on, but... It was a one-night stand. A drunk one, too. I wasn't clear of mind. Sorry. Uh-huh. Holy awesome. hell, she's awful. Do you also have that best friend who's a girl? You <gasps> talk to her all the time. A best friend who's a girl? Unforgivable. Time. You even work in the same workplace. You think I don't get jealous? Unforgivable. Men and girls can't be friends. Yes, okay, okay, I know I'm in the wrong. I was the first one who was wrong, but please. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll never, never do it again. I'm sorry. Isn't your best friend a girl? Yeah. It's different. You see, yeah, I have tons see. of female friends, not just one. Yeah. Be suspicious of someone who only has one female friend, not one who has a million of them. You see, I'm different because I am me. I'm the main character of life, so normal things don't apply to me. Duel. Duel has a harem. I can guarantee you every single one of my female friends would never date me. You can't have a harem when there is no romantic um, inclinations there. <gasps> Maxi! Hello everyone. It seems like nearly 80% of you all watching aren't subscribed. Please do. I make all my scripts on this channel. They're original. <laughs> they're ori oh, they're original? That's pretty cool. A loveless harem? Shut the hell up. It's not a harem. It's a friendship, you idiots. <sighs> I'm sorry. You guys aren't idiots. You guys are just dumb sometimes. And it's okay. It's the end of the main phase. Are they going to attack with all of my Synchro monsters on board? That's kind of a sad thing to guarantee. Well, my life is kind of sad. What can I say? That's what makes me relatable. I'm sure you guys would be able to relate as well. One of these days, I'll find a big titty goth girl on Tinder, and then my life. I've been actually thinking about that recently. Like, if I ever got a girlfriend, that means I'd have to, like, talk to them and hang out with them. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I've been thinking about that recently, and it's just like, I don't want to have to talk to them. I want people to just leave me alone and like I'd have to hang out with them and like I don't even like hanging out with my friends who I have a lot in common with I like the activities I like to do um are all solo like I enjoy playing WoW and like Yu-Gi-Oh and like you know streaming streaming is an activity I like to do that's why I do it so much even on my hiatus and all of those are solo activities Unless I got them on stream, but like, you know, a streamer who constantly brings on their significant other is like insufferable. Well, for me anyway. I'm sure there's some people who like that shit, but I don't. Um. So I was just thinking like, if I ever had a girlfriend, I can't, like, I just think of all the negatives and it's just not as appealing anymore. And then I think of the one positive that I would get out of it. Well, I guess two positives. Um, I don't know if they really, like, outweigh the negatives. You see, the one of the, the, the two positives are humans' number one biological desire is to reproduce. So there's the action that is the end result of that. 
And the other positive is having someone validate your experience, your your um your existence. Having someone validate you is a very nice feeling, but like outside of those two things, everything else seems like a drag. <laughs> So weird, you know? Yeah, exactly. My chat already does the number two thing. So like, I don't even need a girlfriend to validate me because I get validation from um, my chat. And also all of my uh, my friends, they love me. Ish, ish, a little bit. Yeah, you guys are an excellent replacement. Like I don't even need a girlfriend, but you guys can't provide the other one though, which is why I'm still looking. But, like, I don't want any of the other stuff. Like, none of the other parts of having a girlfriend appeal to me. Is that a challenge? <laughs> like, I've, I've, I've just been thinking about it, and it just, like, listening to these ASMRs, like, they are all s seem so annoying. And, like, if you had someone who wanted to cuddle with you, and I'm just like, I don't want to. Like, I don't want to share my bed with anyone. I don't want anyone in my room. I remember when I used to have dogs, um, I would kick them out of my room every time I went to sleep because I didn't want anyone in there. Like, I know some people like to cuddle their dogs and stuff, but I don't. I want them gone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Don't touch me. <laughs> I don't hate dogs. I love my dogs very much. I paid like $20,000 in vet bills for my dog. Like, how many people can say that? We could have just let him die when he had, like, his, like, you know, very bad diabetes scare. But I paid for it all. And, like, happily, too, because I love the little dude, but I don't want him sleeping with me. <laughs> if a girl is at your step and says she wants to be a girlfriend, what's your response? Um, fuck. Is she hot? That's 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 my first question. In this scenario, is this girl hot? That changes everything. Yes, how hot? How hot is she? This is very important. Yeah, exactly. How hot? She's dressed like lovely lady. Damn. That's very hot. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Well, um... The problem is you won't last long in a relationship. That seems like a chore. <laughs> you know, I'm fine being alone. <laughs> Maybe I can just go to Vegas. Uh, if a card is added in main deck to your opponent's hand, you special summon a token in attack position. <gasps> Ooh, we'll do this first and then we'll chain block it. Does anyone in chat actually find Lovely Lady hot? Do you not? What are you talking about? She's like perfect. She's like a goth girl with big boobs and is a total goofball. You can't find someone better than Lovely Lady of the Silver Labyrinth. God damn it, I didn't draw into any of my freaking. Why do bad things only ever happen to me? She's pretty beautiful for Yu-Gi-Oh standards. Uh, just in general. Ooh, I get another token. <laughs> You're gonna try to impermit, whatever, idiot. <gasps> Speaking of labyrinth. She's just a woman in a wedding dress? I mean, technically you can say that about anyone who's attractive. 
She's just a woman in clothes. Ooh, I get to summon another token. Anyways, as I was saying, um, nothing about being in a relationship appeals to me. And... Do they have Ku Klux? I know I banished one of them earlier. Oh, right, they also have Arius, huh? Two cards to the graveyard. Oh, I can call by this to get rid of it. Hee 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 hee. <laughs> Target one special summon monster opponent controls and destroy it. <laughs> League of Legends women's are bonkers on sex scale? Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's gone now. If your parents didn't force you, you wouldn't do it? Do what? I forgot what we were talking about. Battle phase? Why'd you enter the battle phase? Time to blindly pop one of those back row cards. Sex? Oh, get a GF? Wait, what? Logs is asexual? I wish I was asexual. That'd make my life easier. Unfortunately, I like women. I just find the idea of being in a relationship exhausting. Because I don't want people talking to me. Is demisexual? What the fuck is demisexual? It's the curse of men? Unfortunately, I'm pretty... Um... Normal in that regard. Uh... I can activate runic slumber, I guess. It's the curse of males. Yeah, pretty much. <gasps> Welcome, Labyrinth. God damn, I hit the wrong card. Crap, now they can destroy my field spell. It means you aren't looking primarily for sex and just want the romantic part of the relationship. I want the opposite of that. Which is pretty normal for dudes, to be honest. <laughs> We're both gone! Special summon... I guess I can get it back. But he doesn't want romance. Yeah, I don't want romance. I don't want to go on dates. I don't want to hold hands. I don't want to kiss. I don't want to cuddle. I don't want to sleep together. I don't want any of that. All of that sounds exhausting and annoying. My opponent's card returns too. Ew. Yay, let's get another token. Where the fuck are my other gosh darn tuners? Not even sleep together? Absolutely not sleep together. Oh my god, that sounds awful. I don't want anyone in the same bed as me. That sounds so annoying. I want my space. I like to curl up under like all of my pillows and blankets. Sounds like Logs wants a maid. I have a Roomba. And I clean shit myself. I don't need anyone to take care of me. I can do my own shit. Are you serious? They drew into another one? Stop ashing my fucking fountain! Oh my god, that's annoying. And sleep in a giant dog bed? Oh, that's only during the day. They draw one card and it's a fucking ash to stop my fountain again. No battle phase? <sighs> Do I have a battle phase? Target one. 
during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase. Oh, it's only during the battle phase they can do that, but I can't enter the battle phase because I used a runic card and then they fucking stop my shit. Blech, blech, blech. If I do this, it does nothing. Battle phase. Oh, I can put my tokens in defense mode. I didn't even think of that. Log sounds like he wants a lady of the night. I mean, if they were legal. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much. That sounds like my ideal situation. Because everything else sounds like a pain in the ass. It doesn't appeal to me at all. I don't want to be in a relationship. I like being by myself. If only my biology agreed with me. It being illegal never stopped anyone? It stops me. Like, there's a risk reward system and the risk does not outweigh the reward. So it's just not a thing, you know? Activate this card. Banish some more cards. Of course they drew into a welcome labyrinth. <laughs> the plans on the land where you are. Um, it's also not worth moving <laughs> for it, you know. <laughs> the cost benefit analysis just doesn't pan out. No matter what. <laughs> Oh, they're destroying the monster? Oh, fuck. That also triggers lovely lady. At least TTT is live? Yeah. Um, Which one of these cards can I steal? Draw two cards. If I draw into a runic card, I can pop off. Damn it. Uh, activate the ability. And prisoner. Crash with Jerry? No, I can't. Activate the effect. I should not have activated that yet. It kind of screws over my stratagems. Activate this in order to get my other card out. Earthbound prison. Okay. And then we can go into Ancient Fairy Dragon and pop both fields. No, wait, if I go into this one first. Hmm. Um. You can target one monster graver with attack equal to the total attack of all plant monsters on the field. Destroy this card and that monster. Oh, I need to free one of my spaces and I should be able to use the effect. So first up, Ancient Fairy Dragon. I just need to clear up one of my zones and then I can use my field spell to bring back my card. Okay. <laughs> Activate Ancient Fairy Dragon. Do I have any more field spells in my deck? Nope. <laughs> Use the effect. What does this do? Oh, it negates one of their effects. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one is negated. Okay, now I can go hog. Oh shit, I can go into a lot of things. Um, if I go into Rose Maiden, I can use it to climb, right? Are these. How many tuners do I have? I have a single tuner on the board right now. So if I go into this. Okay. 
Coral Dragon. And then I can use Coral Dragon in order to discard my Ash Blossom and pop the 3000 Beat Stick. Then I can use these to go into Gormir. That way they can't proc their Labyrinth effects on my cards anymore. Oh wait, they can just bounce it, never mind. Coral Dragon also be a target? Yeah, yeah, I can if there's three tokens on board. Oh, special. It's not a tuner though. Um, defense position, defense position. I don't think I used one this turn, right? Oh, I didn't. Fuck. That's fine. I get rid of all the cards. You know what would be helpful right now? An Earthbound Immortal. Uh, it sounds like that would brick me because they're awful. Maybe the Whale Earthbound Immortal in order to stall out? But I'd have to play more Floodgates to do that. Do you guys want me to play Floodgates? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Could you not play the extra deck ones? Why? They're all bad. Ooh, I can use this to destroy my field spell and then pop a bunch of other cards. Put them all into attack position. Every single one of them. And there's a chance it might be Torby, so I gotta attack with the 3000 attack one. It was Torby, holy shit. Called it. Called it. Should I order Taco Bell? I think that's a good idea. It's taco time. It's taco time. Taco Bell. No, get McDonald's. No. We're gonna level boost you in a hop. On Sod? Oh yeah, that's an idea. Uh, battle phase. Battle phase on Grimir. Nothing? Ice Dragon's Prison? What are you gonna special summon from my graveyard? It doesn't even matter because I cards can't be banished this turn. <laughs> Coral dragon. Wait, do I draw a card if I destroy it? Or do they draw it? Oh, no one draws anything. Baja Blast? I never get Baja Blast. I get something even better. It's called Pepsi with zero sugar. <laughs> oh my god, guys. My... Um... My stickers came in today. Do you want to see? Of course you do. Look, my stickers. There's like a thousand of them in there. Let me show you a picture from the side. A thousand stickers cost um, 70 bucks. And it was also like around 20 or 30 for shipping. So it was like a hundred bucks total for a thousand stickers. I can see why all the VTubers sell stickers now. I'm gonna order some more. I really want that moon spider thing on everything because it's so cool. Here, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Do 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 
Wait, where the fuck is it at? This thing right here. I want this to be on all my merch from now on because it looks cooler than everything else. Yeah, but how are you going to sell them? What do you mean how am I going to sell them? With a website. How else do you sell shit? Where do I have my money to receive a set sticker? I'm going to have a store up as soon as I get more product. I'm still waiting on my plushes and stuff. Because I want to sell... Oh, let me show you the mock-up I did for it. A, um, a loot box. Oh, wait. Hmm. It's in the wrong folder. Top 10 worst features. Oh, it looks like it downloaded. Oh, I forgot about this. Try this one. Do you have an announcement day for your big reveal? Nope. Okay, let's see. What was I doing again? I forgot. <gasps> I remember now. I was playing around with custom boxes yesterday. Holy crap, that's tiny. Uh, the mystery box. I'm just going to sell it all in a mystery box, but like what what should I call it? Not a mystery box. Aren't stickers super expensive now? No, not really. Wouldn't it be better to sell directly from the manufacturer? No. The loot logs? The cool and mysterious box? I like the idea behind the mysterious box. You know, to be cool and mysterious. You know, like me, who's cool and mysterious. The Gamba box? Maybe. I am the cool and mysterious logs. The cool and mysterious box. Oh my god, that's a good idea. The cool and mysterious box. I'll write that down. Silly columns. Um, Tistina. Let's play this for a little bit. How many Royal Rare stickers will there be? I was trying to order some hollow stickers, but the manufacturer, or I think that's what they're called, didn't get back to me. But like, I'm ordering a lot of shit at once. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. <gasps> I remember now, it was this one. The clout capsule. The cool and mysterious box. It's genius. Just like me. We're never getting out of the red with this one. What? The big reveal? The release date? You mean for when I'm gonna release my merch? Found a new card, Path of Destruction. Go to the store. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe you guys want my merch so badly. Wait, you get card packs from this? Whoa. Hi, hero. Hi, Stim. I was talking about my merch. Those are sleeves? Yeah, that's what I meant. I went to the dude who made my sleeves and I asked him, hey, can you make a playmat for me? You guys want to see the mock-up I sent him? I was like, can you do this? Like, I used AI art in order to create the background and then I used clip art of like moons and stuff. And I was like, can you uh, do something like this? And I still haven't heard back from him yet. That's because I just sent the message today. <laughs> The fuck is this deck? Why is Pinpoint Landing and Supply Squad in here? Ah, oh, shit, that's gonna get banished. 
Use the clip over one moon. Um, actually, there's like three of them if you look really closely. If you look really closely, like, I think these three moons are the same, but these two are different. And also there's one over here, which is a fourth one that's different. These ones are just in the background because they're part of the AI art. Those are some jarring moons. Well, it's a mock-up. You send it to them as like, I want it to look like this. And then they actually, like, turned it into a real drawing. The art turned out nice. That's not a, a thing. That's a mock-up. You didn't even rotate it? What do you mean, rotate it? Wait, rotate what? I don't know what you're talking about. You mean like the rings? The spider? Oh yeah, the spider looks really cool. Crap, I'm so hambo. During your main phase, normal summon one Tistina monster in addition to your normal summoner set. You can target one phase up monster you control on one, or if you control light Tastina monster, target one phase up monster on the field instead. Change that monster to phase up defense vision, then add a Tastina card from your deck to your hand. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna lose the Jupiter with the rings. What? It's fine. They're all positioned in the same way. Well, it doesn't matter for that because I send it to them and then they like do it for reals. I don't think you guys understand what I'm talking about here. You guys are giving feedback to points of it that don't matter. It's more of like the overall feel of it. Yeah, you guys don't understand the economy for reals. Target a card to destroy, and then search out a Testina. Usually you go into the ultimate god Testina, right? Or the field spell? And a graveyard, but return to hand during the end phase. You can set Testina monster in your deck to graveyard, then if you want to get to the face of monster, supposed to like crystal god from your hand to deck. And this card's in your field zone, destroyed by opponents, supposed to like Testina monster from your deck or graveyard. Um... Then add a Tistina spell trap from your deck to your hand. Fuck. Which card do I add to my hand? At least it isn't AI art. You're a merch expert now? It's all about vibes. Dude, I have been talking to so many distributors and artists over the past like couple of weeks. The reason for that is because I wanted to become an expert so that I can delegate it to someone else. And it's easier to delegate something when you know it inside and out. That's what I do for like all of my businesses stuff. Like when I delegate editing, it's because I know how to do it inside out. When I delegate scripting, it's because I know how to do it already. So like everything I have other people do for me, I already know how to do myself. And I can't delegate merch creation until I learn how to do it myself. Oh. So I've been watching a shit ton of videos on it and like doing a bunch of tutorials and like setting up stuff in the background. When is the master class coming? What master class? It's going to hand, target to see the monster you control, re re on this card, and if you do it slow, it becomes a level, this card's in your graveyard, you can target an aqua, excuse monster you control, attach this card to his material. So this card from your hand or field of the graveyard, place a divine from your deck face up field spell, put to see the monster. Are none of these starters? How the fuck do you play this deck? Hello, Mr. Logs. Who's that? The expert logs. It's Tistina's, but I don't know how to play it. Play it. You need to open up more than one Tistina or else your deck doesn't do anything. I net decked this back when Tistina's first came out like two months ago. Is there a reason they were ignored? True, I guess. Do you guys know how much money I've spent on merch so far? Five billion dollars. Summon Nibiru. 
Ooh, my Taco Bell is here. Dang, that was fast. You guys listen to this video? It's called Your Clingy Ex-Girlfriend Gets Jealous and Wants You Back. You know, so you find a new store here for sure. Please enjoy the video and subscribe. Holy shit, I can't do anything with this deck. No, I don't want to use it. What even is this? Too quiet. Let's watch something else. Your clingy one night stand doesn't want to leave. Wait, what? Oh, These cards come back from the grave? Holy shit. Do I just leave? This is too quiet. Hello everyone. It seems like nearly 80% of you all watching aren't subscribed. Please do. I make all my scripts on this channel. They're original, so you'll find a new story here for sure. No, I don't want to subscribe Enjoy though. The video. Why are they all so quiet? Speak up. Arguing with your jealous girlfriend gets heated? Ooh. Babe, what was that? No, you tell me. What what was that? You literally just bailed on me in front of your friends. You're gonna go now? Why? Where are you going? Look. I I don't understand why you're keeping me from meeting them. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I I don't think there's anything wrong with me. I mean if that sounds like I'm gaslighting, I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm not trying to, but Do you wear headphones? No. Look at me. They're all so quiet. The ones we got earlier weren't super quiet. Well, whatever. Good morning. It's not morning. It's the middle of the night. You silly goose. Oh, target one face up monster. Flip it face down. And then add a card from your deck to your hand. This one. Usually ASMR channels require you to wear headphones. Well, that's dumb. Tell them I said that's dumb. Um, demigod of the Testina, because it specials from hand and then searches out a spell trap. Add a designated card from your deck to your hand. Yes. Special summon it back to the field. Oh yeah, they come back. I forgot about that. That's pretty poggers. Whom's the silly goose? I don't know. Ooh, that's a lot of attack points. 9,000 damage. <gasps> Upset girlfriend confronts you? Ooh. <gasps> Can you leave me alone? I need to work? Oh my god. I want to listen to that.
ASMR, but girl expects you reply weird ne nerdy Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and just ignores it. What? That's literally you. That's me for real, for real. No cap. Okay, I gotta go eat. Oh my god, Mari Mari is playing World of War crap. Go watch her. See ya, nerds.